What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Sky Dragon. In today's video, I got a free FL Studio vocal template for you with a twist, right? So you got some free presets and you got a free template. And what you can do is add on to it. I pretty much started it for you. It's real basic and real simple. You just add your plugin. Some of y'all might not have none of the plugins that I would probably put in a template for you. But listen, you can build it, do everything you want to do. I'm going to walk you through it on how you can change it and finesse it to do what you got to do. So let's get into the video. See on the screen right here, you know, Everybody wants a beat track, right? Everything starts in here, right? We got a beat track. We got the beat effects, right? So we can copy, make something unique right here, and then go to the beat. I'll show you that later. We have a record track here. We I had like a couple of Waze plugins on it right here. So you see, it's just basic like Waze plugins. But you can like switch those out. And we have Vox A, B, C, Libs, Libs B. And we have a hook submix. This is the aux, right? So like in Pro Tools, logic maybe in ableton this would be your bus like all the vocals run here you know what i'm saying so you can process each one of these tracks individually as you choose like your ad libs you put a telephone effect here like telephone effects here um you can turn this down you can do stacks here you just have to rename whatever it is that you're doing you know what i'm saying so it's not that hard it's not that complex it's just easy right and we have a bus right here for reverb so let's say we want vox a to have reverb you see here we can control how much reverb we want to send let's say we want vox b to have reverb we go here let's say we don't want it we just disconnect it all right it's completely up to you build your own template do what you want to do that's what i'm calling it build your own template because i basically started it for you and you can do whatever so they got lives right here you ain't got to have a telephone effect you can put a telephone effect turn it off turn it on whatever um and if you need to add more tracks, I'm going to show you what you do. Let's say we want to do one specifically for the hook. So we go here, right? First thing you want to do, you want to go hook. Let's say go hook lead, right? Let's say we want to punch in. So we can go here, hook, punch, right? We want to label things and go. So let's say we want hook lead, hook punch, and hook dub, and um, hook libs. All right. So we can take these. What you want to do, if you're on Mac, you hold Shift and Command and just select all of these. And let's say we want to send these to a bus. So we, now we right click on this, track routing. All right. So we can do this right here. Root, like all these right here. Boom. So now all of these can go to 17. So now we got another bus, right? So we can be like, you know, hook, sub, mix. Because it looks over here, I forgot to rename this because I was going to do it. Like, this is Vox Sub Mix. So, basically, pretty much everything goes here, and we know that every this is the final thing. So, if we need to do just overall adjusting, we can do it here. Like, we don't have to go back and just tweak each or the individual ones. So, let's see, we can color this. Um, let's see, we can make that one like make that midnight blue, apparently. And we can make all that. Um, so it mixes that color so everybody would know so that's the tip that you can do so you'll know all your stuff is going on this is all the vocals for the like the verse and this would be like the hook and now you can go here and color these um doom, doom. select those change the color let's say we want those like a like a lighter shade or something like that or we can make them all that color so now we got those and pretty much you see everything goes down from the arrow to this let's say we can control how much of that we want to send into there it depends on you right so we could do all of that <laughs> like we really can do all that or you can go back and do like one two three four and click this and right click on that and go ahead and create sub mix and be like hook folks hook box and it gives us that right there you know what i'm saying so same thing like it gave us the same thing but see like i took it away and it just went there so we can go here let's say we want to go here and reset that cool now that's reset and now everything's still going to that one track and you're still good to go right so now we can get rid of this you know, I probably confused you, but it's cool. You know what I'm saying? Because we can reset that again and just go back in. So now, I'm going to show you again. You can select all of these. All right. And let's say we want to send it to 17. Uh, one, two, three, four. 
send everything to 17 we'll just go here rooting and just select this track only so now we have everything here again it's very simple glad i messed it up on purpose so now i can show you again we can be like hook vox so and there we go <laughs> So now we have it. Now you can pretty much do whatever you want to do. Especially when it comes to the colors. So, so let's make that yellow. You know? So that'll be yellow. And then the sub of that, we can make that color. Like we said earlier, like we can go three. Go here. You know, that's if you need to add more checks. And then when you go and add on to it, let's say this the verse. Let's say that was the verse. Let's say we want to come in. Go down here. Now we can assign our checks and I make some windows. So now it's like, okay, 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 okay. Now we got mm, hook lead. So we can jump here. That would be the hook lead. We go back in here. Okay. Hook lead. And we got hook punch. So now everything we punch, we can put it there in the hook. And we go here. Hook dub if we need a dub. And if we want to bring in the ad libs, we can bring in ad libs. I know I messed up. So that would be the ad libs, right? So now we got those and everything will be selected there. And if we want to add our presets here, if we have presets, strictly presets, we go to file and then we can load whatever presets we have, right? So I can sit here and just load pretty much anything that I have in here, even if like from sins and everything else like that. You know what I'm saying? Like it's pretty much easy to do this. That's what I'm saying. I'm leaving it open to y'all because it's pretty much empty because I know a lot of people don't have the plugins. So I feel like this would be an easier way to show you how to do this. You know what I'm saying? So that's that. And now I'm going to play a little bit of it so you can kind of see what it sounds like. I recorded this with the little $87 microphone that I got. Uh, so, yeah. So let's check it out. So, and another thing about this is cool about this. So now we can realize it and just we can manipulate this how we choose. Literally, how we choose. We're in full control of this. You see, like if you just had all these presets over and over and over, you'll just be overstacking these plugins right here. We don't need to overstack these plugins. <laughs> like we don't need to overstack these plugins. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like we really don't need to overstack it. So this EQ is here for the telephone effect. So. We can go here, adjust the telephone effect on that if we choose. You know what I'm saying? We can go here and mess with that. We won't really have to change much. It's pretty much like going and mixing in Pro Tools, whatever, because each one of these tracks, you process them individually, and we have our bus, right? And we can control the overall volume here. So it can make all of this louder without having to go back here. So let's say I want this right, and I got this right, but I don't want to go back in and just keep tweaking these if i want this to be a little bit louder i just grab this and i turn this up so watch this oh. it disappears right see this is the master like it controls that you know what i'm saying It's not that hard. So you can sit here, build your own template from this. You know what I'm saying? Add on to it. Have fun. Like, understand the signal flow. Like, if you're a beginner to FS Studio and you don't understand the signal flow, um, you know what I'm saying? This can help you figure it out. You know what I'm saying? Because I showed you how you can create the checks and route them somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? So it's not that hard, man. A lot of people in FS Studio, they just want to overload 
the tracks all the time, even put the reverb here and stuff. That's cool, but you don't have to do that. You got to start learning how to use your buses, man, and sins, whatever, how you want to call it. You need to start learning how to use them things. You know what I'm saying? So very simple, straight to the point, not that hard, you know. Uh, yeah, so, <laughs> you know, it sounds the way it sounds, you know what I'm saying? I recorded this with an $87 mic, and, you know, you can go in here, put your own plugins on, color code it, do whatever you want to do to this. Just make sure you download it, experiment with it. So, one more time, I'm going to play it one more time, and then I'm going to let y'all download it, right? Let's see, let's look at it. Let's see, let's paint the lips this way. Ain't nothing crazy, something simple. Like, I did that with minimum plugins, honestly. Like, you see everything that's here? Ways to real time. Our EQ and CLA vocals. I did that with, like, three plugins. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you can do whatever you want to do. Have fun. Add your plugins. Put whatever plugins in here. Swap them out. Organize everything the way you want to organize everything. Hey, but look, this is the template, man. It's the build your own template. I'm going to give you some presets to start with. You know what I'm saying? So, I would love for y'all to send me y'all template so I can see what y'all did with it. You know what I'm saying? See what y'all took from me and what y'all created with it. You know? So, whether you add sound toys, a lot of ways, plugins, stop plugins, sound toys, plugins, whatever plugins that y'all add, I want to see what y'all do with it you know what i'm saying so i want to see if you can build a template and see if you understand how the signal flow works and stuff like that but listen make sure you like comment subscribe to the channel it's your boy sky jordan i'm out of here, all right cool <laughs>